how to get backlinks for your SEO. Using this strategy, I've managed to get around 19 referring domains, meaning other websites linking to my website over a period of 45 days. You want to do this gradually. You don't want to get 100 backlinks in the one go. Why are backlinks so important? Well, they're crucial for any SEO strategy, particularly in an industry that's quite competitive because they serve as endorsements from other websites. See, they signal to search engines like Google, Bing, even Search GPT, that your content is valuable and trustworthy. It's trustworthy because the websites, other external websites, trust you enough to link to you. It makes your content valuable and credible, which will enhance your website's authority and improve your overall SEO. It is crucial strategy for SEO if you want to actually rank. Not only that, it also tends to get your content and your website indexed a lot quicker. So in this, in this video, we're going to learn how to find a publication platform that puts publicators and subject matter experts together, making this a lot easier. We're going to check the website's quality, the website of which we want the backlink for, we need to make sure that it's actually worth our time to reach out to them, uh, making sure that the, that website is high quality and it's within the niche that we want to get a backlink for. Because not all backlinks are created equal. You want a high quality backlinks, you don't want every single backlink that you can get your hands on. Also, we're then going to submit the request to try and get that link. I'm going to show you how to do all this. The tools that we need for this are featured.com, which is the publication website. There is a free tier, which is enough for a lot of people. And then we need some sort of SEO tool, whether that's Ahrefs or SEMrush. This is the fourth and final video of a four part series on how to do SEO with AI in 2025. You can watch that video in this playlist on this YouTube channel. We've done onsite SEO, keyword research, SEO content, and finally backlinking. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to get an account with featured.com. There are other websites like it, but I prefer featured and I've had great results in it. What featured is, is a website that puts together publications and subject matter experts. The publicators then ask questions which you as a subject matter expert can answer. If your answer is good enough, you can then they'll select you and they'll get, they'll give you a backlink as a result. But you don't want to go in blind and select any website that they come up with. You want to make sure you do the due diligence and check that website's quality. For example, I've made an account and now within the questions tab, I can see and select which question I want to try and answer. The question is here. We have the publication, meaning the website, the deadline for which you need to answer the question for the domain authority and the attribution. These two components are perhaps the most important ones that you need to take a look at. We need to select the right domain authority. How do you do this and how do you know what that is? Well, they give you the domain authority, but you also want to double check it. As a rule of thumb, if your website is brand new, you want to pick a domain authority that is higher than yours. You want to associate your website with higher domain authorities. Let's say you're just starting out and your domain authority is of zero, which it will be in the beginning. Start with a, another domain authority of 10 at least, ideally 20 and above, but those can get a little bit difficult. And finally, with the attribution, you want to make sure that it's do follow, meaning the link they give you is a do follow link. I'm not going to get too much into what that is, but just make sure that you pick one that has a do follow link. And the way that featured works is that you answer the question and then if it gets selected, you'll get in a review and then it'll get published within a couple of days or the time that they've set. So for example, I've scrolled down and see and, and checked on a question that I'm more than capable to answer. Do you really need a huge budget for SaaS SEO? I'm currently challenging the norm, yada, yada. Once you select a question that you think you can answer, you're going to click the answer button or a or you can save it to answer them together later on. But I'm just going to click the answer button because I want to show you what this looks like. You have, once you click the answer button, you'll have this pop up and it says, and you have 2,500 words to answer, answer the question. You can use AI, but make sure that you have a couple of things here in order to, to ensure that you get picked. That is share your experience, give helpful advice, submit original text and leave out introductions. Just get straight to it. One component that I find that increases your chances of getting picked is add real life experiences. We did this and it resulted in X. Those things I find get picked a lot quicker. Once you submit your 
answer, you will get you will then go to this tab, which is in review, meaning the team it featured are reviewing your answer. You will then, if your answer is good enough, it'll go to selected. This doesn't mean that it got selected and you're gonna get a backlink. It means it's selected and the publicator is going to read your answer. If it gets picked, then it'll be in a published, meaning you actually got that backlink. But we, before we get too ahead of ourselves, what we want to do is make sure the website is actually worthwhile for us getting a backlink. So this one that I say before, the publication is web fix tool. I wanna to make sure that that is a real website, first of all, and it doesn't look too spammy. I wanna to go to the URL and it says web fix tool, a free SEO tool. Well, if I'm writing about SEO things like I do, I know that at least it's in the correct niche. So that is a tick for me. It's relevant to what I want to write about or what I want to concentrate on. The next thing that I want to do is make sure that this website has a good linking profile. What I mean by this is that the backlinks have a natural growth. This one is already a little bit tricky to decide if it's good or not. Because for example, if I go to Ahrefs or SEMrush or whatever tool you choose to use for your SEO, you need to go to something that tells you their referring domains, how many other websites are, rank, are linking to them. And here we see that all of a sudden they're getting a massive influx from one day to the other, or from two days they went from 177 to 400 backlinks, and then from 300 back down. It's very sporadic. For me, that's sending a few red flags. I don't feel 100% comfortable linking to that. Not to say that it is a bad website to link to. I just want to do the due diligence and you know what? I'm actually not going to submit a question for that. So I'm going to just unsave this one and let's look for another one that'll make better sense for me to do that. One that I've actually submitted already and got the backlink for is Backlink Building IO. Let's see why I chose this website here and I was happy to answer that. So here, for example, over a one year period, I can see that it was a lot more organic. Yes, there was this massive spike here, but because there's only one spike and the rest is fairly organic, I'm fairly comfortable getting a backlink for them. Now their domain authority is seven, which is a little bit low. However, mine is a brand new website is zero. So they have a higher domain ranking than me. I'm okay getting a backlink for that, which I got from them eventually. So again, just to summarize, what you need to do is go to featured, make sure that you answer a question, but before you do, you need to double check that that website has a slowly growing backlink profile and it is related to your niche. What do I mean here? If you have a website that trains dogs, for example, and you provide dog training services, do not get a backlink from a website that sells computer gear, for example. It needs to be contextually appropriate. Now, the last final thing that you can do is get someone else to do this for you. This can be very tricky because if you get someone on Fiverr and for the love of God, do not get a backlink from Fiverr, if someone doesn't know what they're doing, it can be detrimental to your website's health. So leave it to the experts. There's a couple of people that I would trust, but more importantly, or preferably, I trust Get Me Links. I've worked with them for a while and they're real people behind this agency. They work with you together doing the hard yards for you. They have a massive network of websites which they know and they have personal connections for and they'll either guest blog for you or they'll ask on your behalf to get a backlink from a website. They do a free backlinking strategy call which I highly recommend. So if you're a business that has a little bit of budget to spend on backlinking, which I recommend you do once you do all your other on-site SEO components, give them a call and they'll do this for you. This isn't a sponsored video or, or anything like that. I just like their work. And if you want to leave it to the experts, these are the guys I recommend. But if you've got the time, get on featured and answer a question, answer three questions a month, and you might get some natural backlinks to your website. So just to summarize, we found the publication platform, in this instance, featured.com. We check the website's quality, making sure that it's in your niche and it has a natural growing backlink profile. And then we can submit a request to that website. And if our answer is good enough, they'll give us a backlink. And that was it, nice and simple. If you like this video and you like the other four videos in this series of how to do SEO with AI, consider subscribing to the channel and liking this video. If you have any questions about anything that I spoke to about today, make sure you hit the like video, make sure you like the video. And by the way, I nearly forgot everything that I talked about 
is in this Google Doc, which will be linked in the video description below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.